this sand felt different. That other sand was obviously broken. If he could make a sand bunny, he could make a big castle here. But before he built his castle, he had to make seven sand bunnies, because Bill had seven. <laughs> Don't look yet, I'm not done. George brought the man with the yellow hat down to see his bunny sand sculptures. <laughs> but he couldn't find them. He was positive he'd built them this far from the water. Who would take a guy's sand bunnies? Did you lose something? Hey, where are your pail and your castle book? George knew he'd left those on the rock. But the rock had moved. That rock used to be out of the water, didn't it? You know what happened, George? The tide came in. You see? This rock didn't move. When the tide's in, the waves reach higher up the beach. Hmm. Did the waves wash away what you built? Oh, I'm sorry, George. This just isn't a good spot to build. The ocean will wash everything away. Hey, you guys. I'm really sorry. Well, Ma Rabbit burrowed right through your nice castle when I wasn't looking. Oh! <laughs> well, our surprises didn't turn out like we expected, huh? Uh -uh. You know what? Let's not go home disappointed. If we work together, we can build one good castle before the day's over. Can I help? See? <gasps> so they all pull together. All right, once you get good wet packing sand, carry it away from the water so the waves can't wipe out your work. That's a pretty good job, boys. <laughs> and Ma Rabbit won't burrow through it because she has her own doorway. Well, time to pack up. Uh, George, put anything wet or sandy in the trunk for the trip home. It was a great little castle, but George wasn't going to give up on his dream of having a great big castle. Even if it took all summer, he would keep looking for just the right place to build his castle. And when he found that perfect spot, he wanted to be prepared. Oh. <laughs> 